Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so let's talk about missiles. Now, I use missiles quite a lot in my single player games. Uh, they don't use scripts, so I'm pretty sure you can use them in multiplayer games. I mean, I've not not really used them in multiplayer games, but definitely in the single player games and with some of the um, some of the mods that you've got. So the uh, what was it called? It's the it's the ones where you can get the, the cargo ships to come into the atmosphere anyway. It's usually quite fun to try and build some missiles and send them off into the atmosphere and see if you can uh, shoot down any of your ships. It does add a bit more a bit more variety to the game. So I've, I usually just blueprint the uh, the missiles as I go along. So there's a few different varieties here. I've got some of these uh, smaller ones. Uh, they have all got cameras on the top. So uh, you can guide them around with the remote control and detonate them wherever wherever you need to, where, you know, if they're surface to air or if it's surface to surface, whatever, whatever you need. So, what makes a good missile? Well, these are the early ones and there's some areas which I'd like to um, kind of show what I'd, what I'd rather do. Uh, so these are both running on uh, the small batteries, which don't give you enough, as much, uh, what's it called, it's the juice. <laughs> um, the the kilowatt hours, the output, uh, as like a reactor. So in in more newer missiles that I've been building, I usually add like a like a small reactor onto a couple of small reactors even. So the antenna range is a little bit lower. Um, you know, ideally it'd be like to and most of the targets in the air are, are up around five thousand meters. But yeah, I think these ones are restricted a little bit just because of the batteries. Okay, so they're all on. That's fine. When I'm building missiles now, I usually like to keep this block off and then pump up the uh, thrust override all the way to the top. That way, at least you're not there trying to fiddle around with the forward key and then pressing 6 to detonate and whatnot. Uh, you'll see what I mean when I uh, come and do a test flight. The camera's fine, that's on the front and it's the right way around. You need the gyroscope, a remote control so you can actually um, control the ship. I think the batteries are off, so that's why we can't actually do it. Uh, you could assign the camera as well if you kind of wanted to. Uh, instead of binding it to like one of the keyboard toolbar things, uh, you can uh, attach a camera onto the front uh, here, and that'll allow you to not have to do that. Okay, so there are batteries, and then the warhead. This one's not already armed, but you can tick it if you want to. It's up to you. It, it, I guess the the issue that you got is if you've got drones coming towards you and they're shooting the missiles, you know, it's going to create quite a big hole in your base, which, well, definitely is not a good idea. Okay, so. Let's get this hooked on. I'm just going to arm it now, just so that's done. Turn both of these on. And then we are going to... Let's step, let's step back a bit, actually. There we go. And then we're going to control it with the remote control. Okay, so again, when I'm building new... Ooh, careful. Uh, it's like Domino, isn't it? I'm going to knock over all the missiles. Okay, so press G, and then we're going to uh, turn that on to start with. I'm going to view. You could have a second camera. Some of the new missiles I've got have kind of got like a internal camera. That way, if the front one gets shot off, uh, shot off, shot off, you can uh, you can switch to the the internal one, and that kind of helps out. I usually like just to keep the uh, the arm unarm on number nine, just so I can see if it's armed or not. And then six will detonate it. I think that's pretty much everything. So I'm gonna I'm already controlling it, hence why it's wobbling a little bit. And tab out, and then if I press one. I didn't do the time down at uh, the countdown. Okay, so it's already armed, and I'm just gonna drop it down here. I'm gonna press six to. Uh, I meant to press start the countdown. Okay, well it's a good job we've got like uh, admin tools on. Okay, so yeah, it's quite a sizable hole there. Um, again, if you're shooting up into the air, you know it will do quite a bit of damage against enemy ships. The downside to it is quite. It's all using like the uh, light armor blocks. It's only using the one thruster, and again the batteries are gonna limit the range on it. So. That's why it was there, one of the first ones that we built. Okay, so yeah, they're the first ones there. Here we've got, um, it's, um, they're using three thrusters, and it's using one big battery instead of like lots of small ones. Let's have a look inside. What's, oh, let's get rid of this control panel. Okay, so, are we hiding any blocks? Yeah, we are. Okay, so this one's actually got six warheads on it, so I'd expect this one's probably going to do a bit more damage. Uh, three thrusters, uh, and they are already off so yeah we've already grouped them up into um well we've already grouped them up i mean i mean to say so we've got the first override all the way up and we've got the toggle block off we've got the big battery which is already on so yeah this one should be all right to just jump straight in in fact i'm going to do it on this one just because uh, i've kind of angled that one a little bit weird oh there we go right we want to click on the remote control 
and control. Okay, so we've already got this tabbed up as well. So what I'm going to do here, actually, just because I think the warheads are already armed, but just so we can see the warheads that are... Yeah, so it is already armed. And number six will detonate it. Okay, so three, two, one, go. So you can see a much bigger crate on this one, and that will, um, you know, if you aim it right at the ship, that will, that will almost definitely bring it down. Okay, so we bring, uh, we, we bring, we bring ourselves onto the third missile that I've been building, and it's these, um, these ones here. They're using a single large atmospheric thruster, and I think, yeah. So you can see I've kind of put like what I normally do is I normally like paint the, um, the blocks red, and that usually means that I can get to the. Um, the small reactors quite easily. I can just kind of drill into it and fill them up if I need to. Obviously, if you can create a mode, you can just do what you want with them. But yeah, okay. So this one has got a single warhead. You know, you can add more warheads to it. This should already be all hooked up. So let's have a look. Remote control, control. Yeah, it is. Okay, so I'm just let's just set these off. What I've done here is I've built, this is all made out of heavy blocks. We've got a single atmospheric thrusters and I think we've got four reactors on this. Plenty of warheads, so we should see. I think we do need the more warheads because of the heavy armor. But yeah, I'm going to call this one, yeah, I've been calling them the big boy just because they're, <laughs> they're quite a bit, lot bigger than the other ones. And yeah, okay, so you see we've got the two cameras on here. The warheads are already tied up. Let's have a look at the remote control. Is everything already set up as we want it? So yeah, you see how we jump straight into the camera there? It's because we've already set up on the remote control. I think if I press F, I can come out of it. Let's see what this one looks like taking off. Yeah, so yeah, it's fine. Fine taking off. Um, let's actually have a go. There is actually an, an enemy base over here. Let's have a look, see how that see how well it runs. We are disarmed at the minute, so I'm going to arm it by pressing number 9. Uh, I think drones do come out, so we need to watch out for them, obviously. They will be shooting with the Gatling gun, and we'll be taking damage that way, but we'll see how we do. I'm going to try and keep it a little bit higher, and kind of like swoop down on it, and that should help evade most of the um, turret fire. So, I think we've got four reactors in this and we're already on 100% power. I mean that is because the, the thrust is uh, quite souped up. But okay, So we're coming into our target. We need to be a little, keep, keep higher. Keep a bit higher on that one. Swap cameras so we're inside there. Oh, okay, so yeah, we must just not have got a very good um, angle down on that one. But you can see it does do plenty of damage there. Uh, if it was a ship, it would have destroyed. Oh, lots of turrets. Okay, let's go back. It's a ship, lots of turrets. So if we did aim it right at like, one of the thrusters, that would have definitely brought down a thruster or two. This is taking for ages. Let's go back. Okay, so how do you actually make them? So I've built one of the big boys here. To start off, you're gonna, it's pretty much the same way how you're building a ship, to be fair. We need to get a landing gear on that one there. And obviously it starts off big, swap that around. Cool, okay, so I've already got the uh, heavy blocks in my toolbar slot one there. I'm just gonna build this back a number of blocks. I'd say roughly, call it 10 maybe? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more for good measure. Ten. Okay, cool. Now we're gonna stick a big thruster on it. So let's find a thruster. Cool. Okay. Yeah, something like that would work. Sorry, something red popped up on the uh, hood there. Okay, so yeah, I'm kind of just making all these the same length coming back. It's a good job I've got a grinder. Okay, so let's just neaten up here. Okay, cool. Okay, um, actually we need one more on each of these. 
that right? Okay, so yeah, that looks right. So I'm now going to switch to these armor slopes, and these will kind of be our fins. So it'll let us to it'll allow us to um, what's it called when the ship kind of just sits? I don't know. <laughs> it'll uh, allow us just to like mount it upwards anyway. There we go. Right, and then we need to swap to the small one. I will get hang of these controls. There we go. Round. Cool. Okay, so yeah, kind of got like a bit of a kind of like fin tail section kind of thing. Okay, so the next thing I like to do is we're gonna give it some protection on the side here. I've just got these. Um, they're called the armor slope blocks. So I'm just gonna fill in each of these, going all the way along here. Yeah. Okay. So what we're gonna need now? I'm just gonna put a bit of padding on the back of it. So that way, if the if they do manage to shoot off the the thrust on the back and can gives it a little bit of protection on the back there. Now, the first thing we're going to add is the remote control. That will allow us to obviously control the ship. I'm just going to place the landing block there. Make sure you get the remote control the right way around. Um, it, sometimes it's not the easiest thing, but if you, you see the diagram on the right hand side, that will basically just show you what kind of way around it should be, what way forward. So that way forward. It's obviously not powered at the minute. Stick some gyroscopes on. I'm going to add two in just because, you know, why not? Uh, what else do we need? We're going to need an antenna and that'll allow us to talk to the ship. There we go, antennas in there. Let's, what else are we going to need? What else do we need? We're going to need the reactors. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to build. Another kind of little compartment here. I'm going to mount the antenna at uh, the reactors onto that. Now the reason being, so let's just jump in reactor. I'm going to stick one on each of these sides. So one up there, one up there. Okay, cool. So that's two blocks back. You'll see what I mean here. So if I'm just going to swap to my, so you can see how it's not moving. Uh, that way, if you're in survival mode, and you know if you got these all hooked up by, um, what am I trying to say? If you're welding them all together, at least this way you can kind of come in and top up the uh, fuel without them all falling off. Now, what I like to do is just like, give it a different colour, just to indicate that the uh, the reactors are already behind them. Now we don't need to do it for any of the other ones, but for good measure, there we go. And there's one on the bottom as well, but we'll come back to that one. Now the next is to add in some warheads. Now it's up to you how many warheads you want to add. You know, if you're early on in the game, you know you might not want to add as many. Let's go back to this other color actually. There we go. But I'm gonna add. I mean, you've seen what kind of damage four does, five, six. You know, the more the merrier, I suppose. Let's just uh, pack them all in there. Eight warheads, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool. I can count. So eight warheads in there, and then we need to, uh, I'm gonna skip forward a little bit just cause it's a little bit tedious to put all this together, but I'm gonna basically do what I've done here, just kind of build up the nose cone a little bit and then stick a camera on the front of it. And then if I press Control and B, it copies it to my clipboard. I can rename it. I've already called it Big Boy, I'll call it Big Boy One. And then if you wanted to, We've already, we're in an easy start earth, so we've already got one of these projector kind of setups. If we go over to the projector, and we're going to choose... Uh, let's talk this off at the minute. So we're going to choose the blueprint. Look for the big boy. Oh, that's biggie boy. Big boy. And that'll copy it in. Now, it's copied it all the way over there. What you're going to want to do is you're going to need to move it a little bit further forward. It's always a bit of a pig to do this, but... Yeah, you're probably usually better off looking at it the other way around because I can't actually see whereabouts it is. But you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna plug it all up so you can see it running. Okay, so that should just about do it. Now we can't actually if I swap to yeah, so you can't so we can't actually um, do anything with it yet. If I swap to I'm gonna bring out one of the armor blocks actually here number five and we stick that one there so you can see how they've kind of like changed different kind of like opacity 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 and uh, that will allow us to 
start building it all up. And if you've got your, if you've got like little welding units, that'll be a lot quicker. You can get all this automated and build up lots of, lots of missiles. Guys, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. My current goal is 100 subscribers. If you'd help me reach this, then that would be awesome. I'll catch you all next time.